America Specialty Health, a leading health services company, is the proud sponsor of the 2013 San Diego Crew Water. Classic. The San Diego Crew Classic would like to extend a special thanks to all of our media partners, including Union Tribune, Cox Communication, Fox Sports San Diego, and City Beat. This is event 60, the Women's Juniors Varsity Petite Final. Waiting for the start of event 60, the Women's Junior Varsity Petite Final. Say so make sure to head over to the Carl, Carl Strauss Brew Garden to try one of their tasty brews while taking in the rowing action here on the water at the San Diego Crew Classic. Carl Strauss, they have a beer garden right here. Don't miss it. In lane one, we have Pocock Rowing Center from Seattle, Washington. In lane two, the San Diego Rowing Club. In lane three, St. Ignatius College Prep. Lane four is River City Rowing Club from West Sacramento. Lane five is the Connecticut Boat Club, and lane six is Everett Rowing Association. And we are currently looking at a close battle for first place between lane three, St. Ignatius, and lane four, River City Rowing Club. Again, all the boats are in close connection with each other. Lane four is dropping back. Lane three, and St. Ignatius is moving up a little bit. And lane five is giving them a run for their money. As we're about 250 meters, Connecticut Boat Club and St. Ignatius. However, all the boats still overlap each other. Lane one is coming on strong, pushing for third place. That would be Pocock Rowing Center. Then San Diego Rowing Club in lane two and River City look like they are pushing hard for fourth, but I cannot tell them apart from lane six Everett. Still fighting for first place is a battle between St. Ignatius in lane three and Connecticut Boat Club with the neon ore covers, um, Orla covers in lane five. Lane three, St. Ignatius is rowing very smoothly, very long and strong as we approach the 500 meter mark. It is still, I cannot call it, between lane three, St. Ignatius, and lane five, Connecticut Boat Club as they cross the 500 meter mark. But lanes one and two, Pocock Rowing Center and San Diego Rowing Club are pushing up for that first position too. Event number 60, the Women's Junior Varsity Petite Final. And these crews have been on the water one time today already. They got off to a very close start and jumping out into the early lead was St. Ignatius checking our lane assignments in lane number one, Pocock Rowing Center out of Seattle, Washington. In lane number two, it is the San Diego Rowing Club. In lane three, our current leader, St. Ignatius from San Francisco. In lane number four, River City Rowing Club. Lane number five, Connecticut Boat Club, and lane number six, Everett Rowing Association. Through 750 meters of this race, Things have remained pretty much the way they were at the 500 meter mark. With St. Ignatius on the lead, closely followed by the Connecticut Boat Club, then along the shoreline, Pocock 
sliding into third, but they're having to fight off San Diego Rowing Club in lane number two, and then River City Rowing Club and Everett Rowing Association picking up the fifth and sixth positions here. Connecticut out there in lane number five, certainly giving this group of rowers a run for their money and making sure that St. Ignatius does not go away. St. Ignatius in rain, uh, lane three and Connecticut Boat Club out in lane five. Certainly going bow marker to bow marker on this one. Nobody has really lagged behind yet with the possible exception of River City and Everett. This is a petite final. Crews that finish in the second echelon of their preliminary heats. So this is going to be for bragging rights and a trophy somewhere along the line. St. Ignatius continues to fight it out with Connecticut as Pocock and San Diego Rowing have not allowed the leaders to go away. Stern to bow marker separation now to River City and Everett Rowing Association on the far outside. Connecticut Boat Club has begun to edge into the lead as they are on the far outside and they made a push at around a thousand meters and may have caught St. Ignatius off guard as St. Ignatius has apparently dropped back to that third position with Pocock coming on. Second spot appears to belong to San Diego Rowing as River City has kind of gotten back into it. And on the far outside, Everett Rowing Association certainly has not gone away. This is Connecticut. And they have really made a move during the last 500 meters. They were in a bug tussle with St. Ignatius through the mid part of this course. But Connecticut Boat Club out of Norwalk, Connecticut has certainly shown that they can hang with this group. They are being challenged along the shoreline now by Pocock. Connecticut out in lane five, Pocock in lane number one. Connecticut goes across the bow markers first and then comes Pocock, then to River City now somewhere, got back into it, followed by San Diego Rowing Club and St. Ignatius has fallen back to fourth position. They have open water back to the crew at Everett War Rowing Association. Connecticut Boat Club is looking at a furious challenge along the shoreline by Pocock. And then the two battle in between, between River City and the San, Diego Rowing uh, San Diego Rowing Club. It looks like Connecticut may hang on to win this thing. And then Pocock being challenged by San Diego Rowing Club and the River City Rowing Club coming from nowhere. St. Ignatius showing early power, faded at the end, and then Everett Rowing Association on the outside. 